Yes, that just happened. Was it a waste of time? I don't know. What is time? Hello and welcome to the Great Robot. My name is... Who am I? I shouldn't be as oily as I am. Why am I so oily? Today we're going to continue to investigate contagiousness. To see if things are contagious via the electronical communications. I mean, we're really, if you think about it, we're really just traveling through space. Well, in time. Because I'm doing this in a certain space in time, and you're watching it in a different space in Ugh. time. And I just wonder if yawns are contagious. I'll be telling you little stories, and we'll see if you yawn. <laughs> yeah! For science, bitch! What is going on in my eye? Oh, my friend Brett looked into my nose and he said, "What's going on with the hair in your no in your no Ugh. in your nose?" That's right. Brett has the social graces of a third grader. But I was incredibly, but I am incredibly insecure. So I went home and checked it out in the mirror. Oh, good. That was a good one. And he was right. My nose hair was completely out of control. Ugh, control. So I went and I bought a nose hair trimmer and I trimmed my nose hair. Now I ask you, who has the biggest dick in the room? I don't know if it's me, but I'm certainly not going to let a little nose hair get in the way of some lady finding out. Am I right? Am I right? That's one of my stand-up bits. True story. Oh, it's just nice taking in that much air. I usually don't take in that much air. And now for the scientific portion of the show. In the comments below, please write whether or not you yawned. I'm just curious, just to see. Did anyone else yawn? Is yawning contagious through space and time electronics? I love you, my little lemon drops. Do join us next week when we do something else. Probably as important as this. Okay? Okay. I love you. Bye-bye.